What if we wrote down every show we've ever done? And all the highlights and everything else? Oh, uh, we'll leave that to the guys at rustcrabradio.com. They are fine young eggs over there. Wrestle Crap Radio, kids. Longest running episodic wrestling podcast in the history of planet Earth. You'll have to forgive me this week. Have you picked up the Rise and Fall of WCW DVD yet? No, I haven't had a chance to do that yet. Yeah, you're not missing much. They gloss over everything. There's like so many moments of the downfall of WCW that they didn't even talk about. Like the fall of the company is maybe 20 minutes. And then this week on Raw... They had the Shockmaster, and that's not on there either. What? And no, I didn't get a single sympathy card or nothing. Who do you think you are, Matilda? (laughs) Drop it, Dynamite! Headbutt, Dynamite! Oh, that's what it was. It was Headbutt, Dynamite. (laughs) We need a talking animal on this show. I, I, I think we need no more characters. Promotional consideration paid for by the following. Believe it or not, kids, this here radio program is sponsored. Sponsored by our good friends at PleaseMarks.com. There were cake ingredients everywhere. Flour on the counters. Frosting on the ceiling. Eggs split on the floor. And for some reason... There was the empty cake mix box hanging from the ceiling fan by a few dozen hair ties. John Morrison shifted his gaze from one mess to another, sighing angrily. Jeff Hardy, where are you? When there was no reply, John kicked off his shoes. Damn boyfriend. When I find him, he is so dead. He looked around the room again. He tied back his hair with one of the mini hanging hair ties. I might as well clean up first. John grabbed the mop dustpan and various sprays before getting to work. It took about an hour before John got all the mess cleaned up. The kitchen practically sparkled and shined with freshness. A tangy orange smell drifted through the room, into John's nose, and out his mouth. Hmm. Perfection. Now to find Jeff. He peeled off his rubber gloves and apron. (laughs) <laughs> which were covered in the mess that he cleaned up and turned to leave the kitchen. When he was greeted with the smiling face of Jeff Hardy. Well, he couldn't really tell if he was smiling because there was too much cake around his face. Hi, John. Jeff, did you attempt to make a cake again? John raised an eyebrow, hands on his hips. No, Jeff Clayton, he said. I actually did make a cake this time. And I suppose the, the crap all over your face, is that the thing? Yep, and I ate the whole thing. And I ate, and I ate the whole thing, I ate, oh! Jeff held his stomach. Oh, never mind. John sighed and rubbed his lover's stomach. <laughs> Got a tummy ache? Jeff nodded again and whimpered. The California native grinned a bit and picked his lover up bridal style. Carrying him in the living room. Rest. I'll get some medicine. Thank you, Johnny. 
but does this teach you not to make a mess of the kitchen and eat so much cake? Oh, don't say cake. I'll take that as a yes. And with that, John went off to find Jeff some medicine with a grin of accomplishment. The end. And we have another sponsor to this here radio program. Jeff Hardy's Tummy Ache.com. Dude, I've got a Twitter page. I saw Stubby has one. Angry Jim Ross has one. He does? I think our, I think our whole cast has one, yes. Oh, man. What a trip to the grocery we had last week, huh? Mike Reno from Loverboy. Mike that Reno was from Loverboy. One of the greatest moments in this show's history. It was it was quite fantastic. A quite fantastic trip to the grocery. Kind of got sad at the grocery store the other day. This store had marked all their good friend cereal down for clearance like they weren't going to carry it anymore. Oh, oh, that is sad. I think it's a moment of silence. There's been a lack of Don Mason stories on lately, and I got some complaints from some people. They had a, had a v- vagina operation on Lifetime last night. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good when it's just lying there. It's good when it's just lying there. Um, down, down. <laughs> now I think you're just trying to antagonize the woman. We don't want to want. We don't want to watch any porn. We just want to watch an operation because it's good because it's just lying there. Um, down, down. I think I'm just going to leave all these dishes that she's throwing around here. Oh, look at that! Way to go! That's oh. We're so proud of you! That's what I'm talking about! Yeah! Yes. Yeah! He's back! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. No, the mob is... The mob is... Woo! That's how you kick off obscure wrestling news, kids! You ever wonder whatever happened to Candace Michelle? No. Question of the week this week comes from the inglorious OTG. If you're in a no DQ match and get hungry and happen to start snacking on a blizzard, would you in fact be DQ'd? Yes. <laughs> Did you used to enjoy blizzards back in the day? Uh, somewhat, yes. Back before they were affiliated with, like, the Oreo brand? Right. You would have to go up there and you would have to order a Hydrox Blizzard. Oh, awesome! (laughs) Whoa! Well, it's your girlfriend's birthday this week. She's 30, she's almost over the hill. Yeah, but her boobs are probably only five years old. Yes. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. I'll be honest, it made me a little uncomfortable. Brandy, you have a package? Well, thank you. I've got a package here from you. Inside that box is our new TNA correspondent. Oh, wow! Hold on a second, I gotta get this thing opened up. (laughs) Haven't we learned our lesson yet? He looks cute in an 80s kind of way, doesn't he? (laughs) If you you say so. (laughs) There were a lot of people that said that they missed Johnny Six. Right. I don't have the money to go out and purchase another one of those. The Trolltron 5200s are still pretty expensive. Let alone the 7800. Oh, poor old Megatrola. But I was at a garage sale, and I happened to luck out and find a Trolltron 2600, which is an older model. They had some flaws. Some people complained. You know, Consumer Reports ripped them apart back in the 80s. Right. But I think for as, as much teenage news as we report, 
our new TNA correspondent can get the job done. So I, I want everyone to welcome our newest TNA correspondent, Johnny Four. Wow. State of the art. Yeah, that's very nice. I remember when uh, Johnny Johnny Six. Whoa. Sounds like it's backfiring or something. I remember when Johnny Six would, would be here cleaning up the place. This thing just keeps dropping like junk all over the place. <laughs> Parts falling off. Everything else. That's all right. I think it's got gonna... an oil leak. Yeah. All right. Smearing oil all over the carpet. <laughs> keeps. I don't know. This. He can still do the job. I, I guess. I guess so. Well, it's it's rolled over here. I guess we can ask him about some some TNA news. Uh, uh, Johnny Four, uh, thoughts on the uh, Tracy Brooks uh, not being on the page as a Playboy? Apparently, she's still going to be online, so I guess that's all right. No sticky pages. It's going to be a sticky keyboard. What sticky? Sticky, 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 sticky. What is wrong with this thing? <laughs> no! It just fell over! Ah, that's early, early troller technology. Oh, man. Speaking of early technology, deal. <laughs> Stubby, good to hear from you as always. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay, I got a little hyped up right now. Uh, uh, I took, it took me some uppers. Right. So you... <laughs> yeah, you, you need the opposite, Stubby. You need some downers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm only going down if she's a hawk, if she's got implants. <laughs> Stubby. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, let me, let me calm down a little bit, take a few deep breaths, I might, I might lower the blood pressure. What is that wood pressure? <laughs> Actually, that's what I gave that woman last night. <laughs> Stubby, you rapscallion. You know, when Blade had that Johnny Four uh, over at the house when he was cleaning him up a little bit. Right. I, Did you I tell him to that... clean him a little more? <laughs> He had to clean him a little more one night because I, I got I got I got drunk and I accidentally dry humped him. He looks. <laughs> what do Tracy Brooks have in common with the whore on the corner? They both took off their clothes and they both got fucked. Oh, stubby, stubby, stubby. <laughs> She doesn't get to be on the magazine cover. No, she doesn't. Hurry, wrestling news time here, kids. I've dedicated my 17 syllables to Fred Ottman this week. Well, it's about time. Shockmaster Katern. How will Fred Ottman respond? Tugboat in a dress. No, no, no. I love to roll around. Always more fun. I love this. You can feel the bumps in the street. <laughs> she's still feeling, effortlessly. She's still feeling the bumps. <laughs> and spin around. Spinning and spinning and, and spinning. <laughs> Who knows where you might end up? Who knows? Yeah, I like that. I'm just taking off, man. I'm Michelle McCool, and I'm loving life. Words to live by, kids. <laughs> 